Yo, what's up everybody? It's Brilly, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get textures and really illustrious style quality out of your tune materials and shaders inside of Octane. Now, if you haven't gone and seen my tutorial on tune shading lines, uh, make sure to check that out because I'm not going to be going over that aspect. As you can see here, we're going to pick up where we left off from the line demo that I did. And let's just open up our node editor. And today we're going to focus now on the shading and how to get more illustrative style in the shading. So we're going to pick up off my last demo where we did the tune shading lines. And now we're going to combine these two things together. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need some image texture. So I already went and got some, you know, halftone patterns and some pencil sketch patterns. That's going to be an important thing. You could do any kind of texture that you want, whether that's watercolor, paper texture, grunge, doesn't make any difference. But the ones I have today are going to be like graphite pencil textures as well as like halftone print textures. And we'll just take a look at a couple of those. So we're going to just get an image texture node here. And you can see that I've got a lot of different patterns in here. And I'm just going to simply maybe grab one of these little, uh, you know, graphite. And you can see I got this from Adobe Stock here. So I'm just going to open that up. And we've got our image texture. Now, the lines are all driven um, into the diffuse. So I actually am going to need to combine stuff with the image texture node that I just downloaded with that kind of graphite texture along with the lines that I'm creating that are plugged into the diffuse. So for that, what we're gonna need is we're gonna use the multiply node to connect these together so I can get the dark shaded lines. So let's grab a multiply node and I'm gonna plug in the dark lines here below. And I'm not just gonna plug in the image texture now into this multiply. Instead, what I'm gonna do, you see the look, it's gonna look a little different right now because I got nothing to multiply with. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an add. And what the add is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to add a color into this. So we can start giving some a little bit more life into it. So let's throw that, connect that into the multiply node. You can see we're getting some kind of funky looks going here. And let's get an RGB spectrum and add that node in here as well. And that will go right into the texture one. Now you can see the look is basically identical to how we started here. But if I come in and I add some sort of color, and you can see now we can start to see some of that texture. Now the texture doesn't look all that great quite yet. So let's add this, I'll right click it. I'll say add to selected and I'll add a projection node in here. And I'm gonna change the projection node just to box. That way it's all kind of squared and, you know, we can mess with the size. So if I right click this and say, um, add to a transform node, this is where I can control the scale of that texture onto the surface. You know, whatever, you know, you want here, whatever looks best for you. And it's really that simple now to get that kind of texture within that. So let me just kind of organize this a little bit better here. So we've got our multiply node. And it's really this simple. And then you can do the same exact thing for the specular. So all I have to do, and I could use the same texture, I could use a different texture. Um, I can just control click and drag, copy these nodes here. And I'm gonna plug in this add from our specular and then plug this multiply back in here. All right, and now you can see I can get that texture going through the specular as well. In addition to this, you know, since we have this RGB spectrum, I can come in and I can change the color of this at any kind of point. And we can come in here and we can begin to manipulate the kind of offset. It's kind of nice right now. It's kind of blending that red and blue together. Um, you can mess around with different varieties of this and really kind of have it stand out and pop. You can have it kind of be more monochromatic, um, do something that's maybe more complementary. Um, and just go around and kind of pick, right? And so once you start refining what your lines are, I mean, let's go in here. I'm just gonna change the image texture sh just so you can see various and variety of uh, looks. Navigate to my folder. And as I mentioned, I do have like a bunch of different halftone patterns in here and stuff like that. You can see some that have like gradation to them. Um, some that are just kind of straight up and down. Obviously these aren't tileable, so we might see some seams the ones that are gradations but let's just see what that looks like anyway right i mean this looks pretty cool obviously i could start shifting stuff around i could definitely do uv mapping which i'm not going to do for this demo um, but you know give it some variety looks pretty interesting as well so 
I would recommend mixing these different types of textures here. Let's try um, a couple other ones. Let's go in here. And this is not a tileable texture either. Obviously, I could go in to Photoshop and try to make any of these tileable. Uh, maybe I'll come into the transform node for these and maybe scale this down. I think that texture seems rather large. You can see how cool this is. And how easy this really is to add a little bit more interest to your materials and your shading and get more of that cell and illustrative quality to it. Let's see what this one looks like. This image was created by AI. Um, yeah, well, it's interesting. It could be could be cool depending on what you're making. Not really for the, the look that I'm going for right now. Um, let's just try one of these halftone patterns that's just kind of even throughout just so we don't see any kind of seams. Right, and you can see here a variety of, of really kind of cool and interesting looks. And that is it. That is how simple it is to just add and get more shading than just the solid cell shading colors. And they actually get some nice textual quality within your tune materials inside of Octane.